Hello world, PDR coming at you here with a Toyota Corolla. I think it's an 03, 09, 09 Corolla. And uh, it's got a collision dent, went through here. And if you look in the board here, you see this little curved crease kind of comes up through here. We've got it nice and warm. And I'm looking at 107 right now. So you guys know what I like to do on a dent like this is have my glue gun all ready. Turn my hat around for you and grab my woods grip, right? Gosh, I've been wanting to do this for about 10 minutes looking at this dent. So now we got it nice and warm. I want to get the warmest right around here, obviously. Nice brow right there. I don't even want to bang on it. I do want to hit it a little bit just to here. Yeah, we got some good bouncy tension there. And hopefully you guys can hear me all right. We've got the microphone going on. Let me put the Shungite pendant behind the shirt so I don't scratch the car. And Woods grip this little bad boy. Little bit, little bit, right? So we still have this brow. Little bit there. And now we're gonna hit it up with a couple of glue tabs, run that area, and always, if need be, I can get through with my tools and work that out. We're gonna bang out this. Um, it's got a factory hole right here. If need be, I can access by making another hole I don't want to take apart this door. I've already informed the customer that we might be making a hole right there with a plug in it. But other than that, um, let me just come back in when I've got you guys all set up with the uh, with the setup and show you what I'm doing. Probably come back in and show you some of this brow tapping. Um, we've got a couple other little dents that we might do on this car, so we might have more than this one video. But this one might be a big one, guys, because I got to spend some time on this, and make it right. So at this point in the video is when I'm going to say. I sure do appreciate everybody clicking on this video. I really do. Um, if you would hit that like button, that's awesome. Or that subscribe button, that's even better. We always love to see the community grow. So I'll come back in just a bit when I've got the setup in place and I'll show you what I'm working on. Okay guys, we're back. I put a couple of tabs on here. It's almost perfect time and perfect temp to pull them. Started here, that's the first one I'm gonna pull. Uh, and I'm gonna go from the top edge with the first little yank, come back underneath it. Give it a nice yank. There we go, that's what we wanted to see. A little bit of movement. Round one, this was actually the last one that I dropped, so I shouldn't have pulled it that soon. And this one is just that little weird crease. Figured if I could get some of that out, I would. And this is just off the edge. I still have to beat all my brows down. And I didn't expect that to pull much because it's right on the edge here. Let's give this a nice yank. Just basically save myself some work. And grab the isopropyl. This is 99%. So it'll come off like butter. And then there we go. I don't think that moved a lot, guys. It might've moved some. Actually, it did move some up top here. It moves some. Um, and like I say, I've got a hole right here that's factory. So I've, I could basically get a skinny in there and work that out. That was where it was pretty severe in the middle. And then right here. So, so yeah, we're getting it, getting it moved. And I think what I'm gonna wanna do is put my board on the ground like this and look right up at it like that and see that brow that I'm gonna work? You look straight into it, it's a little smiley face. That's gotta come out first. I mean, obviously I could work up here if I wanted to, but this is just holding that tension in, guys. So that's the first thing that's gotta come out. Anything that's high is usually more important to get out than a dent that's low. Um, that high pressure is what keeps it all in. So hopefully the beginning of this video has been entertaining if not informative, a little bit of glue pulling, a little bit of a old schooling, I guess what we call. Grab a suction cup and I could have just stuck a plunger on that. 
I know I probably got a couple people thinking that, but still got a lot of work to do, guys. So we'll be back with you. Jack, in a bit. jackhammer on this one, boys. I'm gonna get this brow out nice and flush. I hear my heat gun's still going, but I don't think I'll be needing it anymore. So I'm gonna actually turn that off, save the propane, butane, whatever it is. I'm coming back in here and just finding that that crest. You can hear the sound change. And that's when you know I'm on it when it's going ping, 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 ping. And if I move like a quarter inch, it, it sounds like a really loud low drum. I wanted to keep on that ping, ping, ping because that's right where the crest of this brow is. Starting to come out. But brows are slow, guys. Brows are something that take a while. Um, I had a brow on a dent about four or five videos ago on the orange car, and everybody at the end was like, well, why didn't you just take that brow out? And it's because I didn't have another two or three hours to do what I'm doing here. It was basically a timing thing. So we're gonna do this for a lot longer, maybe another 20 minutes and get this brow out. And if people say, well, why don't you just hit it harder and get it out faster? No, that's not the way to do it. You wanna do it so it's slow, so it doesn't, so it comes out nice and even. Check back with you in a bit. So now I've gotten back to the hand tapper and I'm just kind of seeing this line sideways, getting down all these little weird brows on the edge. Still a lot of brow, but it's almost to that point that it's unnoticeable if I, if I can push this little low out. I mean, I see this smiley right here coming through and getting her out. It's been about 10 minutes. Lots of tapping. Okay guys, we got some background noise. We're gonna test out this microphone with the sound canceling. But if you see, we've got this upside down, a sad face, upside down smiley face. And I'm coming in right here with the tip of my number one. I'm just coming down. It's actually behind a brace, but I'm sliding right in behind it. And yes, I'm going to make some pushes that you guys will be able to see because I'm kind of uh, going to get the meat out pretty quick and it's nice and warm. So maybe you won't see the, the, the push marks, but you'll definitely see these pushes. Like, there we go. There's a strong one. Another one. Pretty strong right there. And now I see that this little crease is kind of going away. I'm just following it down, getting the majority of the meat out of it. And uh, this is going to be something that I'm going to do a lot of too. So I'm going to probably spend another half hour on this little area right here. Maybe even drop a tool down to this area or come in, like I said, through the side. But a little bit of finish work right here some of the finite stuff and we'll obviously come back and show you uh, more work but then we'll also show you the full-on final result hopefully you guys can hear me we got some construction going on in the background nothing we can do about that so check back with you in a bit now I'm in here I'm trying to get some of the meat out if you have a visual be filming which we probably are we are just taking our time, working this den out real slow. I'm right here at the top of that little football. And I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and just rush that one out to the goal line. Football reference. Uh, got a little twisted up there, but this is that big meaty area that we're just running this whole area. I don't want to do too much of it too fast because I got a lot of it to do. 
Now I'm right through here. Some strong pushes. There we go. We're going to come back with you in just a bit. Okay, so what I'm done is I got the car braced open here. I've got my stick door, door jammer in there. And the factory hole taken out. I'm going to just sneak in with broken tip, one of my broken tools that I keep, and find out where I am here. Right about there. And since I've got such great leverage and access, why not just work that out nice and slow. Actually, it's probably tough to see, but I can only get up to about right here. So I'm just going to take what I can get and keep on moving real slow through the top of this crease, trying to straighten it out real slow, and then come down through the middle of this crease. Got a little piece of electrical tape on the tip of my tool, soften it up a bit. And if I change the angle of the board, I can see more of that football area. Now I'm down here, and it's kind of shaky. The door jammer isn't perfectly tight, but like I say, we're just gonna kind of motor through this dent sure my microphone's still on because we've got that heat gun going and it's nice and warm and we're just making the solid pushes that need to be made like I say guys this was a collision so it's not like it's ever gonna end up being a hundred percent and I actually told the customer about 80 percent because of the scratched lines the high brow the edge on this right here just a lot of work and uh, for the band-aid situation and the price that I'm charging, I think uh, he's gonna be really happy with the result. He's actually come out and seen it and is already really happy, so we're getting the rest of it out to a standard. And uh, I gotta have it at least looking good. And got a little bit more of this brow to do, and I think I might even zip that hole right here, or underneath here there's a uh, factory drainage hole that my tool will go right up in if I wanted it to. Um, either way, I'm just going to spend another 20 or 30 minutes on this little area right here and straighten it on out. Okay guys, now we're in cleanup mode. I'm just going to do a little bit up here, a little bit through here, and a little bit through here, and basically kind of call this one good. Hopefully you have a visual on that little dent right there. I'm going to give it some strong pushes. Move that metal, come up a little higher and kind of get this little area around here. So I will say again, I really appreciate everybody that stuck with me through this one. Check the microphone, make sure we're still working and come down here and get some of this. Right there. Some nice little three, four pound pushes. And then I know that there's actually quite a bit more work that I could do in this area, but um, like I said in time and, and work perspective, I just can't justify spending another three or four hours right here. And I think the customer is already super happy with the way it work, looks. Uh, but we're gonna come back to you and show you the final result when I've got it all put together. Oh, I do have this, I did have to end up Zipping a little hole right here, putting a plug in it, and the factory holes put back in. Um, a lot of this low, I mean, I tapped a lot more of this brow out and made a few pushes, and it doesn't really want to move. Um, I can get right into here, get that little guy out, and there we are on that one. Some of the other lows. Just basically, yeah, I'll, I'll put it all back together and come back and show you guys the end result here because, um, like I say, it's not going to be great by any means. It's uh, going to be the Band-Aid situation, a little bit more of that dent coming out. But uh, I think we're going to give the value 
that we hoped for. And if you guys notice, I'm using my uh, little board today. My big board broke right there. So I gotta fix that or get a new one. So, um, yeah, it's starting to look pretty darn nice. I mean, it's not, uh, not beautiful or pretty by any means, but like I say, I'm just trying to get it to that 80% uh, mark where it looks good and almost presentable. And uh, we'll come back to you in just a bit, hopefully a little less uh, background noise, but show you what we got. Okay, guys, we're back. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it at that. There's still a little bit here. And obviously, if you look real close, there's a, I mean, this thing was a collision all the way up to about here. And this is basically the difference between band-aiding the situation and doing what I've seen some other techs do where they take the entire door off and take everything out from underneath and work on it all day or two days or three days and probably charge about the same what a body shop would charge. Um, I didn't do that. That wasn't in the budget. That wasn't in the time sequence. What we wanted to do was, I think, exactly what we did here. Um, call it a real uh, quick band-aid situation obviously there was a real sharp dent right here push on it a little bit and i'm not gonna mess with it uh, i got some other things to do on this car but i really appreciate everybody clicking on the video and sticking with me through this long collision style to uh to that and um if you liked it show me you liked it uh otherwise this has been pdr and i'm out peace